Welcome guys to our new segment here. Today we have a simple experiment that we'll show you here with these two hives. The two hives are the brooder boxes. As you can see. First of all, we need to rename the hives. Let's say this is hive A. And this is hive B. For our experiment today. Now, hive A. This is our hive A. Scrap. With the lemongrass leaves until you feel the scent. Of the lemongrass leaves. So nice. Scrap well, guys. Then <sighs> remove all the particles that have just come from the lemongrass leaves. Make sure your frames are clean. Return your frames. As you can see, our frames have the starter comb. You all know what is the starter comb. And these two hives are made from one timber. And the hive B just has uh, the starter comb wax. So we'll take these two hives to uh, erase the place that we said last time. Then we see which hive will colonize faster. The hive A with the lemongrass leaves scrapped on it with a scent. Hive B just the wax and the starter comb that was made from the workshop so you can either return the whatever the, the queen excluder close your hives then we'll take them to the rest the place so that we can see which hive will colonize first Colonize means which hive will the scouting be identified first. From this experiment, I hope you guys you learn a lot. Let's see. Now let us uh, carry first hive A. As you can see, when a hive is uh, just a uh, a brooder box, it's easier to carry to a catching a catchment site. Let's go, guys. We are here at the raised place. Let's put hive A. From the left side. And we will bring hive B on this side. Then I place it at the same height. With a space of 120 centimeters. Now, as you can see, as I've told you, hive A, we have scrubbed it with lemongrass leaves, and the hive B, we have just left it the way it was from the workshop with the starter comb and the wax. Let's see which hive. We will colonize fast. Hello guys, uh, we have received uh, thousands of bees here. Let's see which hive has received bees. As I told you yesterday, 
we will check which hive has received bees and I can see hive A is fully colonized. Wow! This is a lot of bees colonizing one hive. It's too much. <laughs> this is too much, guys. This is a big team. Now guys, as you can see, hive A, which was scrapped with the, the lemongrass leaves, is colonized, leaving hive B without bees. You can see guys. Fully colonized. Look at this team. So powerful colony, which has just come to colonize this hive as i told you guys make sure your hive is clean before you put it on a catchment site and our hive is facing southwards south poles so the bees have just come today right now and it is 12 noon leaving hive b that we did scrub with the lemongrass leaves and the hive A is fully colonized. You may ask yourself, why do we capture bees around the compound? Bees like where people stay. Bees fear to stay where they are attacked by the, the ants, the rodents, and all sorts of the attacks they face. That's why we capture them here at the compound. Here at the compound, they have registered a place, a one-point direction, where they can colonize the hives. We decided to put them here because this is the direction where most of the bees fly. It's a bearing. Our hives normally face the south poles. Sometimes we, face, we put them hives face to the north poles. There is another side, the catchment side, which is on the other side, but the other side is slower than this side. All three hives in a week, the other side we get one hive in a week. So we have registered this space and this direction as the most efficient direction for, for hive colonization. And this hive had the wax and the starter comb. So we added a bait, eh? the attractor, which is the lemongrass. You either use the lemongrass oil or use the lemongrass leaves to scrub on the, the hive. Some videos shows uh, lemongrass oil Use a drop to attract your bees, which is available with us here. And you can either use the lemongrass leaves, which is available with us here. If you need the lemongrass leaves, just call the number down there and they get your hive colonized within two days. Now you can see my bees are fully inside the hive and they cannot sting me because they are concentrating on how to arrange the hive on how to organize, organize themselves in that hive. The following day, if you come here, they might sting you. So it will take two to three days, then we carry it to the apiary. Now bees have settled. All the bees are inside the hive. Let, let's give them a few days, then we carry this to the apiary. Hive B is still waiting for the bees. So guys, uh, we thank you for subscribing and watching our content. We are here to educate you guys every day uh, for more tutorials about beekeeping. And we say thank you for subscribing.
Thank you for watching our tutorials. See you guys. Tonight, in our headlines, one hive was attacked yesterday night by wax moth. And we will talk about the raw honey and regular honey. Join us at the clock of the hour.